Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Hayward here. I wanted to share something with you that's been going through my mind for the last little bit. I've been creating all the content for True Life Mastery, the three-day event that I'm doing in two weeks, and really uh, developing this whole methodology around not setting goals. So don't set goals. If you want to get ahead in your life, don't set goals. Because setting goals is detrimental to your success. And over this next like three, four, or five minutes, whatever I take for doing this video blog post, I'm going to share with you how not to set goals in order to get ahead in life, to love life even more and even more successful, and why setting goals doesn't really work. So first thing, what do all goals have in common? Like actually, actually think about that. What do all goals have in common? And, I, and I'm not sure if I want to give you the answer because asking the question gets you to, to pick that. So to help you out with getting the answer, what do all goals have in common, is once a goal is not a goal anymore, what has happened? So what's happened to make a goal not a goal anymore? So when a goal isn't a goal anymore, it means it's come to pass, it's been done, it's complete. So in order for something to be a goal, it needs to not have happened yet. It needs to not exist. It needs to be something in the future. It's an idea. And that's what goals really are. They're an idea where people set goals all the time and people screw up. People don't follow through on their goals. People don't accomplish their goals. And a lot of people have said to me, well, successful people say that they're successful because they set goals. Great. Well, what about all the unsuccessful people who set goals too? So it's not the actual setting of the goal that makes somebody successful. It's the actions that they take as, as a result of setting that goal, of wanting to accomplish what they want to accomplish. So goals don't matter. It's the actions that you take. And that's often what I say to people is, screw goals, just do stuff. Because that's really the, the access to getting results is actually doing something. So goals don't work. You do. And you need to do the work. So setting a goal is basically setting something like, this is an idea, this is what I want to do. And the grounding within it is, kind of like, this hasn't happened yet, I don't believe this is going to happen, this is a goal, this is an idea, this is something that I want, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. So there's a big difference in the grounding around saying, I have a goal to become a millionaire this year, and saying, I am becoming a millionaire this year. Because there's a huge difference in the power and the energy behind that. Because what happens is like, let's say you want to set a goal. And you're going to set a goal, we're going to call that, my goal of whatever it is that you're set. Now when you set a goal and you write it down and you go through all these different processes, everybody has a different methodology about how to set goals and how they work. But if you are setting a goal called my goal, and when you set that goal, there is any doubt that it's going to happen, that doubt, which is going to be black here, that doubt is anchored into your goal. So now every time you read your goal and you think about that goal, that doubt is also coming back. Because that doubt is anchored into your goal here. Because when you set your goal, you didn't actually believe it. And that's the big difference here is because anybody can set a goal. Big freaking deal. I can hear it. I'm going to set a goal. I'm going to set a goal to have a parrot sitting on my shoulder in five seconds. Great. Nothing happened. I set a goal. Big friggin' look. Goals don't do shit. It's the actions that you take in order to do it. And you've got to believe that those actions are going to happen. Because it's like... People say, oh, when I see it, I'll believe it. It's the other way around. When you believe it, you will see it. And when you set a goal, when you want to do something, like for example, in my life, when I was 20 years old, I decided that I wanted to buy like, a house in a million dollar neighborhood like six months from then. I had no clue how I was going to do it or anything. I just decided, this is what I want to do. I'm going to do it. And I believed that it was going to happen. And because I believed it, I never wrote it down. I never did all this goal setting stuff around. I just knew. It was a knowing. And when you can have a knowing about what you're going to do and you just absolutely believe it at the core of who you are, then there's no reason to write it down. There's no reason to set a goal because it's already happened. You already believe it. So the goal around it, is, it doesn't, there's no point, there's no necessary need for it. So coming back to this point is when that doubt is anchored into it, it always comes back within your goal. And goals, goals are like setting uh, like where you want to be. I want to be here. This is what I'm going to do. And sometimes as you're along the journey, uh, there's something else over here that you didn't think about that is ten times better than this. But because you set this goal, oftentimes you're like, oh, well, I set this goal and I said I'm going to do it, so I have to do it. It doesn't matter what. And I'm going to bang my head against the wall over and over and over again. My life is stuck. It's going to be painful in the story. But my ego is in the picture, and I said I'm going to do this, so 
I'm going to do this. It doesn't matter that this is 10 times better, this is going to be more fulfilling in my life. I said I'm doing this. My ego is making me have to do this. So I'm going to do this no matter what it takes. And I'm going to have stressful crap in my life because I'm going to keep banging my head against the wall in order to get to this result. And that's what often happens is people are like, oh, don't quit, don't quit. Screw that. If you're doing something and it ain't working, or you realize something better that maybe this was your real true intention you want to work towards that, quit. Big friggin' deal. Setting a goal sets you up for failure. Because having a goal of, I'm going to do this by this date, it either happens or it doesn't. So you either succeed, great, and people that success lasts for about 10 seconds, maybe 10 minutes, and it's like, okay, well now i got to set another goal. i gotta, I got to chase the carrot. i got to chase the carrot. i got to keep chasing the carrot. She's chasing the carrot. Because in, in life, it, we're, we're taught in society, always be striving after something, always be going after something else. And not, we, we forget to live in the present. We forget to live in the now. So when you shift your focus from setting goals and I need to get to this place in the future that doesn't exist yet and I don't know if I will, there's a possibility that I won't, and it's set as a goal, then you're always chasing after something. You don't really enjoy the process. And that's what it's really all about is enjoying the process, enjoying what you're doing. Because it comes down to your actions of what are you doing. It's not the goal that's going to get your results. It's your action of doing it. So don't set goals. Just do stuff. And that's really, like, you look, ask, uh, like, any, like, amazing athletes how they train and all this stuff, and they're like, well, I go one step at a time. Because that's it. Like, they go one step at a time. That's all, that's all you can really do. You can only, you're only present, you're only here right now. It's what you're doing right now in this moment that matters. And, for example, uh, setting a goal, you can fail, goals screw up, things don't happen. But it is, it is impossible to not be doing the things that you're doing in the moment that you're doing them. So I'll say that again. So it's possible to have a goal and not accomplish it and to fail and not achieve your goal, but it's impossible to not be doing what you're doing in the moment that you're doing it. So as you're taking an action, it's impossible not to be taking that action in the moment that you're taking that action. And that's where results come from, is from taking action. And it's just the whole framing around it, where a goal is an idea, where people set goals all the time, and this is how I'm going to measure it, and this is how I want to be, and then they strive after it, and their whole life is consumed about, around reaching that goal. Well, then there's no fun in it. It's like, oh, I've got to reach it, or else I'm going to be a failure, or else everybody else is going to think I don't accomplish my goals. Screw that. Just do stuff. What are you doing? There's so much more grounding and power in what you are doing. Talk to like Paul Allen, who mentioned... Uh, Microsoft Word. He doesn't have a goal to play in the World Series of Poker. He's just playing in the World Series of Poker. Is he, is he in yet? No. But he knows it. He believes that it's going to happen. So when you come from that ground, you totally believe in what you're doing. It's what you're doing. I never talk about, I have this goal, I have that goal. Because, look at it. Like I said before, what's more powerful? I have a goal of becoming a millionaire this year, or I am becoming a millionaire this year. It's all in the grounding and your focus and how you're doing it. And your commitments. What are you committed to and what do you believe? Because you need to believe it. When you believe it, it will show up. So what do you believe? Because as soon as you believe that that's going to happen, it will happen. It's like, I believe that the sun is going to rise tomorrow and it is going to rise tomorrow. No questions asked. I believe that I will be a millionaire by the time 25. No questions asked. It just doesn't happen. And ask, well, what if it doesn't happen? Well, that's like me saying, because I'm coming from that ground and that belief, I actually truly believe it. There's no question about it. If I die, that might be the only response. But that's like saying, if I drop my phone right now, what if it doesn't fall? Well, it's going to. I'm going to catch it because I don't want it to break. But, well, so let's take this marker. That's like saying, I have a belief because of gravity that when I let go of this marker, it is going to fall. But what if it doesn't fall? <laughs> Great. <laughs> what if it doesn't fall? Great. It fell. That's just, that's where your goals and your, well, not your goals, but your belief, what you want to accomplish, what you want to do in your life needs to come from. That belief. Because when the belief is there, rather than setting a goal that's out in the future that doesn't exist, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? What are you committed to? And what are the actions that are going to take place? Because it's the actions that get the results that you want. So, take actions, enjoy the process. Don't set goals because they just set you up for uh, a win-lose scenario of whether you accomplish it or not. What are you doing? What are you committed to? And what is the journey you want to go on? Like, and, and go in the direction that you want to go. Because there's always going to be other opportunities or other things that come up along the way that might be better than what you originally set out to go towards. But as long as you're going in the direction that you want, then you're good to go. New 
opportunities will show up. You'll have fun, and you won't be stuck in a goal of, I said I'm going to do this, so I'm going to do this. And people get in relationships and stay in a relationship that isn't working for 14 years because they said they were going to. Fuck that. If shit ain't working, quit. So don't set goals, just do stuff.